Hello everyone, Michael here, still working on the lighthouse, um, I'm actually recording this the same day as uh, the last episode, but uh, I did make a little progress before I started recording again, so um, the day-night sensor does work, believe it or not, it's in day mode right now, but I put in a little indicator here, day and night, but I've been watching it and it's been switching, um, it can, sometimes it takes a little longer, other times it, in, it instantly switches, so it's been it, was, it hasn't been so bad. But um, and now I'm working on the the roof of it. And actually, I don't think I need any more cobble cooked up, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Uh, let's, actually, uh, didn't bring. I'm gonna go down. Actually, I'm just gonna make me a stack of pistons and get it over with. So I have pistons all the time and I don't have to keep making them. Although, watch, I make me a stack of pistons and then I don't need any more anymore. But yeah, I've put something on top. I need to figure out what to do at the top um, that would also hide the lava. There's also another thing I wanna ask your guys' opinion on, and I'll show you when I get back up there. First, I gotta get pistons made here quick, and I'm just gonna grab um, iron and redstone. Oops. Grab another stack of redstone. Eh, let's make it two stacks. Okay. Get, get out of there. there you go. So let me get back up there. I'm slowly moving supplies up there. And the thing that's really gonna suck is getting all the lava up there. Oh, zombie, where you at? So get back up here. And uh, let's see, let's make some pistons. Do I have no wood? Get some wood here. And let's see. Let's make. Yeah, we can make. I don't know if 16 pistons are going to be enough. Yeah, we'll go with that for now. And we'll kind of see if 20 is enough. We can make it 21. If not, we'll make more. Okay, I also need one ladder to finish off. And uh, I don't think anything else right now. Grab this redstone. So, still day. Good. Whoops. So, I'm thinking just using regular pistons and putting the lava right on top. Um, so, I need to actually break away some blocks I put in the place, but that's fine. That's no big deal. So, yeah, I put up and then I left slots for the lava or for the pistons to hold against, and then I need to put lava like channels. But. Um, so I'm gonna end up making this a couple, a little, a few layers thick, and I need to get rid of that dirt yet. But yeah, see, I've got another indicator up here too. I ended up running as I started next last episode. You know that redstone all the way up here through the center. So the sensor down. Uh, what side is it on? It's over here somewhere. It's not there. There's a sensor down there, all the way down there in the ground. It wires and comes all the way up here. All the way up here. There we go. To this redstone torch. That redstone torch, when it's on, is day. When it's off, it's night. 
and let's see if this works. Ah, crap. I'm gonna have to do that. Okay. So that gives me signal. So let's see here. Let's do this. And put piston. Oops. Not quite what I wanted. Piston, piston, piston. And then let's see if I wire back to here. I'm not sure how far I can wire this, so let's do right there. And crap, I don't have any dirt. Oh, well, that one's actually powered by that one, that's right. But I still want to do this. I want to make sure I get redstone all the way over here. Now this is going to be a tough one. Getting it so I got pistons in both parts there. It's going to be a mess of redstone, but it makes sense. Gotta make sense. So let's see, how am I gonna do this? Oops. A little bit too far down. Hmm, how do I do this section right here? That's a good question. I didn't even thought of that. So I got this corner here. That I need to get a piston shut off. Let's get everything but those and then I'll come back to those and figure it out. I have no idea what I'm going to do there. Uh, tedious fun work, right? These are all going to, when the sun goes down, these should all open up. Hopefully. I can put one there, and I think I can... No, see, I don't even have any way to redstone that. So I might have to... not do this corner at all. This corner might have to go without. I don't know what I'm going to do there. But here comes the... here comes sundown. See if all these pistons shut. Oh, that one did because of that. Ah, I didn't grab it. Alright. Then we got a ladder there, I gotta work around. And how quickly does this happen? Let's watch. Come on. Munch on some food. Sun is almost completely down. The sun is completely down. We are now in night. 
And I still haven't switched. Come on. There it went. Took a little while. There it went. So now it opens up and the lava should start pouring down when I get lava in. But how am I gonna do that? Unless I let Unless I leave that and just put the lava on top there, put a block here, like that. Lava here, you know, block there. And if I, the lava then starts pouring, maybe it'll automatically flow over that direction. Maybe I'll be okay. Okay, the other thing I wanted to, yeah, see night now. The other thing I wanted to get you guys' opinion on is right now I have it coming down to these half slabs. Um, I was thinking, instead of the half slabs, how about I do another um, thing of glass panes all the way around, all the way up, so that basically no one can you know walk into the lava. The lava will be between two glass panes. So I'm curious what you guys' thoughts are on that. That'd probably be the best way to go. Plus, then I wouldn't have these half slabs that make it look a little off. So, I'll figure that out. Um, otherwise, I really don't care if you can see the pistons and stuff up there. Um, it doesn't bother me at all. So, but I don't... Yeah, to see how it uh, flows. Do like a water flow test. Uh, to get an idea how it'll flow, and then uh, then bring lava up, you know, and use lava for real because I want to be careful because with lava, lava takes a while to clean up, and I'm hoping that it doesn't take forever for the lava to go away when the pistons uh, close back up again. I'm hoping it goes away fairly quickly. We'll see. Alright, so what I'm doing now is I made a little infinite spring up here. And I'm going to try with some uh, putting water down and see what happens. So if I put water down like that and like that, we'll see what happens. Um, see, I'm pretty much just going to run this around. And get an idea. Actually, I think this went on that side. And on that side. So I'm trying this with water first. Uh, mainly because water is easier <laughs> to clean up if I screw up than lava is. Um, if I screw up with lava, yeah. Plus, um,. This gives me an idea how much lava I need because I'm gonna have to go collect all this lava and then transport it over here. That's gonna take a bit, so I need to know how many I need. Let's see, so water there, water there. I think this was supposed to be a filled in block. So get, this gives me a few ideas on a few different things. And these should be opening up here shortly. 
Then I think I'm also going to put in an override switch. Or a couple of them. So that I can override. Um, the cycle. Like make it always on or always off. be switching here any second. Um, I learned something. Don't be standing on a pit on these pistons when they change states. Because I did that, and I fell through. And fell down. Alright, so we got water all the way around. Let's see if I can make it down before they change states. to fill those those spots in right there. Come on. Switch over. It's night now. Come on. I think that is just gonna go straight down. So is that one. I don't think they're gonna go over like I want them to. I think they have to be going over first. So how can I do that? Or do I just not have anything in these spots right here? Because yeah, it's this spot and this spot. On all these corners. That's a dead spot. What in the world is going on here? Let's make a couple overrides. Because apparently, something is not switching. Because it should have switched by now. That's right, I got dirt there. That screwed that up. So yeah, I don't know what to do with that spot then. If that's what it's gonna do. Well now I finally switched tonight. I need dirt. Alright, so I'm gonna get lava. I'm gonna replace it with lava. The water with lava and I'll be back. Alright, so. Here's what I was afraid of. It's, uh, not dropping down. <laughs> Let me override it again here. It'll start dropping down. kind of stops right there so that's a problem and that completely defeats the point <laughs> oh man so I might have to do plan B which would involve something like this where Instead of going like, I would just go like that. Except I would have the lava on, probably on the sides and not in the middle. Right here, but then that solves, I don't need that anymore. Like that. Now I gotta get rid of this mess. 
Jake started coming back down again. The lava feeds off of itself. I think I wait if I did that. Now that one's going down. So maybe it'll get the rest to go. Where that was going. Oh. Let's see if that gets it to go down again. Come on, you were you were a contender. Either way, the new idea would be to alternate, and uh, that way they're not touching, and then that way it should be better. So I'm going to do a test of that. I'm going to clean up this lava, and we'll do a test of that and see how it goes, and then maybe we'll just do it that way. So let me clean this crap up quick. All right, let's see. Hopefully this does kind of what I want it to do. Falls in the place there nicely. Broke glass, by the way. Dang it. Alright, so let's. Worst night. And it drops down pretty quickly. So that might be what I have to do. Is just make it so that the lava doesn't spread, it just goes straight down in a pillar. Yeah, now it actually switched tonight. <laughs> and then the other pistons will just have to be disabled or something. So I just need to continue to go around. Like this. Out of dirt. And that'll just be the lighting. It would be that instead of fully covered, which I guess is fine. I've left the lava. Um, and then, as far as this goes, I'll just be disabled. Like that. Then lava can go in here, and in here. And these I'll just replace eventually. Whoops. I 
forget how strong that efficiency pick is sometimes. Alright, so continue getting lava. That can go. I think that actually went into the lava. I haven't heard the uh, new lava sounds before now, too. Which kind of threw me off. I was like, why do I keep hearing... Uh, um, magma cubes jumping around. And it's the, it's the new lava sound from way back when. So not so new now, but... First time I've heard it. The different lava sound from before. Alright, so we got that. So now I just gotta collect more lava. And figure out what I'm doing. I mean, that still looked pretty good, I would think. So, I don't know what to do there. I know I need bread. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna finish off the lava, and uh, we'll show it off in the next episode. Right. So, thanks for watching. See you next time.